In this Newton's Law of Cooling example, we'll take a look at actually two examples uh, having to do with Newton's Law of Cooling. And basically what Newton's Law of Cooling says is that the rate that something cools is proportional to the difference between its temperature and the ambient temperature. Some people refer to it as the air temperature, but it wouldn't always have to be air, I suppose. So ambient is just the surrounding temperature. Now we don't need to get into the rate until the second example. In this first one here, we're just told that the uh, air temperature is 5 degrees Celsius. And uh, we're told that water cools from 100 to 75 in 5 minutes. So we're asked in the first example here to find just how long it'll take for the water to cool to 10 degrees. In the second example, we'll actually find the rate that it's cooling at when it gets down to 10 degrees. Now, we're not given the uh, constant K, so that's one of the things we have to find first here. So there's uh, Newton's Law of Cooling, and we'll fill in the temperature of the surroundings, or the amb ambient temperature, is 5 degrees. The initial temperature was 100, and the surrounding temperature was 5, so 100 minus 5 is 95. Now I'm going to substitute in, we're given this information that uh, it cools to 75 degrees in 5 minutes. So I'm putting 75 in place of the temperature, that's what the capital T stands for. Uh, temperature at any point in time, surrounding temperature, initial temperature. And we'll put uh, 5 in place of time because it's in 5 minutes it cools to 75. So 75 minus 5 is 70. So we have 70 equals 95 e to the and k times 5 is 5k. And I want to solve for k here, so I'm going to divide out the 95. So uh, e to the 5k would equal 70 over 95. And 5 divides into both of those evenly, reducing that to 14 nineteenths. Now I want to, I'm trying to solve for k to find out what the constant here is for this water. And so I would solve this exponential equation, base e, by using the natural logarithms. And so the exponent 5k would equal the ln or the natural logarithm, log base e, of uh, 14 nineteenths. And so in order to solve for k now, we would divide out the 5. And so the ln of 14 nineteenths divided by 5 works out to be about negative 0 0.06108. So we can rewrite this formula with the negative 0.06108 in place of k. Now the question asks how long will it take for the water to cool to 10 degrees. So we'll put 10 in place of the temperature and solve for time. So 10 minus 5 is 5 on the left uh, equals 95 e to the negative 0.06108 t. And we want to solve for t. So we want to get the e to the power of uh, e to the, this power of e alone. So we'll divide by 95. And so that power of e is equal to 5 over 95. <clears throat> and that reduces to 1 19th. So we want to solve for time again. So just like over here when we solved uh, 5k was equal to the ln of 14 19ths. Same idea. This exponent will equal the ln of 1 19th. And so to find t, we'll divide out this negative 0 0.06108. So it's the ln of 1 19th divided by that, which gives us about 48.2 minutes. So it takes just over 48 minutes for the water to cool from 100 degrees down to 10 degrees. Now in the example on the second page, same water cooling uh, the air temperature is 5 degrees, water cools from 175 to 5 minutes, so same, same scenario. But we're asked now to find at what rate is the water cooling when it reaches 10 degrees Celsius. And so if we back up for a moment, we need this uh, equation here. This relates temperature to time. Capital T is temperature, little t is time. So if we take that, uh, and I'm going to solve for t here, so I'm going to move the 5 over or add 5 to both sides, and we're going to differentiate because we're asked to find the rate the temperature is changing, and so t prime would equal, now 5 is a constant, so its derivative is 0, and to differentiate this, um, this uh, power of e here, um, it's 95 times the derivative of the power of e. Now the derivative of the exponent here would just be the negative 0 0.06108, so that constant will come down and multiply by the 95, so that's why that's in front, and then times the original function. 
So that's the derivative of this uh, tem uh, temperature time function. So we're asked to find out what rate is the water cooling when it reaches 10 degrees. So we found in the previous question that it took 48.2 minutes. So that's the time. So we put 48.2 in place of time here and we evaluate this. So 95 times negative 0 0.06108 times e to the power of, uh, and it would be a good idea unless you're really good as your calculator to simplify that first. And you should get about negative 0.31. So the negative, of course, is, is a negative rate means that the temperature is going down, and it should be because it's cooling here. So the water is cooling at a rate of 0.31 degrees Celsius per minute, and that's the end of the example.